Magento is one of the most advanced e-commerce systems available. Still, you can have it running on your computer for free in roughly an hour time. The first step is to install a web server, unless you have already installed one. I recommend a web server package called Exampl, and I will use Google to locate its download page. It's right here. We need the Windows version. OK, scrolling down, download Exampl installer. It's 99 megabytes, so it will take a moment to download. Your download will start in two seconds, one second. OK, it's here. While the download is progressing, we will now go back to Google and this time look for Magento. Magento e-commerce software and platform, that's it. This website contains plenty of useful information, but we are here after download. So I will download the free community edition. As you can see here, Magento is also available in the hosted version and it's a free trial. But we are now downloading a zip format. Download. Uh, we have been uh, redirected to Magento web's web page, which contains some installation resources, like installation guide. Oh, sorry, I have to initiate saving the file. Okay, so we have here Magento installation guide, and particularly interesting installing on Windows with Xamp and WAMP. Um, in case of any problems during the installation process. I recommend you to get back to this web page and checking all the information available here. The download is nearly completed. And now double clicking the exam installer, we can start the installation. The installation is pretty much simple. We'll just use all the default options. The installation is now complete. In the real time, it took more than five minutes to extract all files, but in this presentation, I applied some speed up. Clicking the finish button now, I will now start exam control panel. I will now minimize the browser window and put exam control panel into the view. Let's start the Apache server and MySQL database server. So the servers are running now. The next step is to install Magento. Magento has been downloaded as a zip file right here. I need to unpack this zip file into our web server. Web server files can be opened using this button in exam control panel. And actually the root folder for the server is here in htdocs. Now double clicking at the Magento archive and just moving it like it. This is another operation that will take about five to seven minutes. So we will speed it up.
it's nearly completed. All further steps of the installation will be now performed in the browser window. Magento requires the domain name to include at least one dot. It is very important. We must not use localhost domain name because Magento wouldn't like it. Instead, I will use the IP equivalent, which is 127.0.0.0. One slash Magento, that's the folder where we have installed Magento. This is Magento web based installation wizard. I click here to agree for the terms and conditions and continue. Setting United Kingdom the time zone and the currency, continue. This is database configuration. Database type is MySQL, host is localhost, database name is Magento, this is very important. User name, name we will use a standard root and empty password. For a real application, you should definitely create a special username in the database and a good quality password. All the remaining options may remain intact. Now let's click continue. And we have database connection error. The reason for that is that the database Magento is not yet created. To create the database, we will get back to exam control panel and choose the administration option for MySQL. This starts um, a typical PHP My Admin application. So let's click on databases, create database, uh, Magento. Create. It has been created. Let's now go back to the database configuration. I need to type root again. Go scroll down. Continue. Now it should go fine. Create admin account. Yarek. Frankic, my email address, username, let it be Yarek, password, encryption key is not necessary, continue. And uh, we are nearly here. Um, we have a choice between going to the front end and to the back end. I will choose front end. This is how our Magento store looks like. It's empty, maybe not very beautiful at the moment, um, but let's try to populate this store with our usual stuff. So now go to back end. Um, Login Yarek and the password. And here it is uh, the Magento dashboard. Compared with OS Commerce, uh, Shopify, Volusion, Magento is the most complete e commerce solution of them all. The menus are full of features, but we will now go straight to the catalog and uh, manage products. I will add our usual product, uh, default attribute set, simple product, we can use default options. 
please note that there is plenty of configuration options and also a menu of additional features like upsells, cross sells, custom options, gift options. Um, so you can see that uh, we have many, many, many more features uh, compared with any other tool presented today. Okay, the name is Green Bird Christmas Decoration. Traditional lorem ipsum text. We also have short description. Um, let's use a shortened version of the same text. Okay. SKU number 001. 0.1 the weight it's uh, necessary, it's obligatory. Uh, status enabled. Visibility. Catalog and search, I think it's fine. All right, let's go to meta information, meta title, green bird Christmas decoration. Keywords, I simply copy in the same text. Images. This is the green one. Okay. Upload files. It's here, and we want a label green belt. We want uh, the base image, small image, thumbnail. Okay. Uh, what else? Inventory. Very important. Manage stock, yes. Quantity, we have to provide the quantity. That's 100. And also availability in stock. Categories. Uh, the problem is that we don't have any sensible category yet. So at this moment I will save our product. Oh! I forgot another very important thing, prices. Prices are $4.99. What else? A tax class. Non-tax. Okay. Save it again. And now manage categories. Okay. We can see here the default category, which is the top level category. Whatever we want to do should be added as a subcategory. Name Christmas decorations is active, yes. URL key is not necessary. I think we can we can leave it as it is. Save category. And now we will have a look at our store after this modifications. So the front and the store is here. Let's refresh the view. Christmas decoration category is visible. I'm clicking on it. And oops, we have no products here. This is just because I'm forgotten to allocate the, our product to the category. So I'm going back to Green Belt Christmas Decoration, Edit, Categories, and Christmas Decorations, Save, go back to the store, Refresh once, once again, and here it is, our Green Belt Christmas decoration. Even going slightly farther, just behind the scene, I have added another two items. Let's have a closer look at the product page. 
details this is the quick overview this is a longer details description we can also scale the photo up just to see the details let's add it to the card proceed to check out so we have managed to install Magento on a local computer complete with a web server. The real time of this installation was about one hour. Many long time consuming activities have been cut out from this presentation. Anyway, in a relatively short time, without much effort, you can have one of the most mature and complete e-commerce frameworks available right on your machine. But more importantly, for really big players, installing Magento is just a start of the game. It's a rich, fully featured and very well supported development environment, which makes it possible to build really large and advanced systems very well integrated with the existing business infrastructure. This makes Magento the ideal choice for many big businesses. Thank you for listening.